Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott Casper. This is Takedown. More than 3,500 Buckeye fans came out to cheer on the defending Big Ten champ Sunday as they welcomed Zeke Jones and the 11th-ranked Sun Devils of Arizona State. Keyshawn Hayes and Deshaun Campbell both notched victories over nationally ranked opponents, while world champion Kyle Snyder closed the duel with the 12 takedowns and a pin. From the Ohio State Athletic Department, here's a full recap from Sunday in St. John Arena. Let's take a look. There's a nice shot, nice high cross by Luke Pletcher. And well done, smoothly done to get that finish and doesn't want to let him go, wants to continue to stay in control here. And, and a nice shot, no, nice defense there. Counter attack by Pletcher. Again, good wrestling by both wrestlers here. Pletcher's got to get his head high. His hips are down. That's very good positioning for Pletcher. It's looking good and Arizona State wrestling following nicely, but Pletcher getting the two takedown, and it is loud in here. It is loud in here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice wrestling. Maka shooting and extending himself. Um, kind of a sloppy shot, and that will be a takedown. Very similar to what happened earlier. Micah Jordan strong enough to pull it in a little bit. Shields the strong wizard. Broke the grip of Jordan, but Jordan bringing his knees underneath him. See, what he wants to do is to have power, you have to bring your hips underneath you. That's not in wrestling, that's in any sport. Nice, he's he locked the arm. Shields put him, that's gonna be two points. Yep. Another takedown, Micah Jordan starting off really nicely here in the first period. Cross wrist, looking to roll into a tilt, which is interesting, he's actually getting it on Valencia. That must be super tight. That is hard to do against someone that is as good as Valencia is. So that's four. Get an escape, nice switch. And to his feet, Valencia follows. Nice explosiveness, but not enough for the escape. But great match, great victory, and incredible performance out of Tayshan Campbell. Arizona State upset Mucka, uh, I'm sorry, Buckeye Micah Jordan. And Tayshan Campbell in one of the toss up matches. Valencia has little over a minute of riding time, one minute, 12 seconds. So as long as there's more than 12 seconds left. Oh, wow, nice, nice change of levels by Bo Jordan. Holy smokes. Nice, holy smokes. That change of levels was impressive. Not only the change of levels, but he went to the opposite side of where his attack began. Kind of half sprawl there out of Norfleet. Good re-attack, good re-attack. He's got to lock his hands, and that's not going to work against a high-level guy. Nice job, Martin's got him on his back. Got him on his back, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Looking for a full, being parallel with the guy. It's going to be tough here, but he's got to get, got to lock his head down. He's got to lock his head down. Norfleet fighting up nicely. He could get out of this. He's doing a nice job. And that's, that's even better. He's got 35 seconds, Martin does in top to get this fall. He's not close, Norfleet, nope, that's close. There's a fall. Wow. Miles Martin with the fall. Like Looking for a fall, ooh, ooh, pancake. I'm sorry, that's not a pancake. It's kind of like a cow catcher, some, some say. Johnny Thompson-like. Tried to sneak it in there. Can't force it though. Oh, nice, other side. The other side though, he can. Yeah, he can. Oh man, he ends with a pin. He ends with a pin. He's been working on that. I think, I think, I think based on what he just said to Travell, or I think it was Travell, they've been working on that a little bit. They've been working on that. Try to, try to get it on one side, hopped over the other side. I'm sure, I'm sure heavyweights will be looking out for that. Feels great to be back. Very thankful for uh, my teammates that make it really fun. I'm super excited about the potential that we have this year. And in some weight classes, you saw uh, the, the moments of light. And then in other weight classes, there's big, big opportunities for growth. And uh, that's what we're going to focus on 
it's never about the wins and losses. It's about getting to the top of your potential. And we have a culture right now that values that. And uh, we have 10 starters who are going to do everything that they possibly can to put the best product on the mat. I mean, like Kyle said it, I mean, Penn State's got a great, great team this year. Uh, and it'll boil down to bonus points. It could, it could only boil down to bonus points. At the national tournament, that would have been an extra half point for the team, right? If you have 10 guys wrestling five matches each through the week and you have 50 matches, you pick up six or seven of those, you know, that's a three and a half, four point difference. That could be the difference. The other thing is the crowd loves it. It brings people and it's the way to compete. You're always trying to get to the next position. The end, of the, the end goal of wrestling is to end the match. So you either end it by a pin or a tech. So we want everyone wrestling that way. And I do believe that Jaggers is pin chain I mean, he wanted that pin chain. He also wanted to run flex, and you, it's hard to flex without the pin chain around your chest. So we're, we're fortunate to have Kyle in this program. Our college wrestling coverage continues after this short time out. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Casey General Stores. They're famous for pizza. This is Casey's Fresh Pizza Dough. We make our fresh dough the way your grandmother made it. It's not frozen, shrink-wrapped, and trucked in from some factory in New Jersey. That would be a travesty. You want the best tasting, freshest baked pizza in the world? It starts in our kitchen with a lot of love and old-fashioned goodness. Mac is back. Try our made-from-scratch macaroni and cheese pizza for a limited time. Pick up one today. Casey's. Famous for pizza and a whole lot more. I'm Don Beneveni, Beneveni Chevrolet and Granger. We recently made the switch to uh, LED lighting. Uh, we purchased it from uh, Yellow Blue. Uh, we've had a very good experience. The lighting has saved us approximately $1,000 a month. I made the switch to Yellow Blue LED lighting, and you should too. On Sunday, top-ranked Penn State picked up their second dual win of the year with a 30-point blowout against Bucknell. The Bison got on the board early as Jake Campbell picked up a 3-1 victory over freshman Devin Schnupp, but it was all Nittany Lions from there. Senior Corey Keener secured a 12-4 major over David Campbell, and then Jared Cortez took out Matt Colonia. 10-4 at 141. The returning Hodge winner, Zane Rutherford, secured a second period pin over Seth Hogue to put the lines up 10. And then Jason Elf, well, he did what he does, and he made it back-to-back -back falls with a pin at 57. Top-ranked Vincenzo Joseph kept things going with a 23 tech over DJ Hollingshead. Third-ranked Nick Nevels closed out the duel on a high note for the Nathan Lions with 11-4 victory at heavyweight. Here's Cale Sanderson. What is your call? Well, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, we're we're happy with the team we have. Um, you know, things. Um, we'll see how things develop. If, if if there are any changes, you know, there's still opportunities for guys to uh, to earn spots or take spots. However, you want to look at it. Uh, we have you know some open tournaments coming up, but uh, yeah, we feel good about the team that we have out there right now. In other weekend action for the Big Ten, sixth-ranked Minnesota opened the season with a 29-6 victory over Air Force. Returning national runner-up Ethan Lizak picked up a 6-2 decision over Tony Zasar, put the Gophers up by three, and then Mitch McKee secured his sixth fall of the season, pinning Justin Becky in the opening period at 133. Hunter Marco, Jake Short, Nick Wanzek, and Chris Farr gave the Gophers four straight victories, and Owen Webster made it five when he defeated Zen Ikara. 5-0 in his starting debut.
All right, let's go to Iowa State. Drexel came from behind to defeat the Cyclones 21-16 on Sunday. The Clones got off to a strong start at 84 as Dane Pistano defeated Owen Brooks by major decision 14-6. Stephen LaSalle retaliated with a pin over Samuel Cobra just over two minutes in at 197. But Marcus Harrington gave ISU the lead with an 11-2 decision at heavyweight. Let's go to 133. Ian Parker edged out Austin DeSanto 7-5. And the highly touted freshman Kanan Storr did not disappoint. He racked up 22 points and a tech fall over Julian Flores. Rookie Trevor Elfin turned things around for the Dragons with an overtime victory against Gavin Witt. Then Evan Barsick picked up a 10-8 decision over Chase Strott 57, bringing the Dragons within one of the clones. That was before Abbott Jarrell edged out Logan Breitenbach at 165 to put Draxel back on top. 1816. The Dragons would seal the victory at 74 thanks to a 5-3 decision from Austin Rose. With the victory, Drexel improves to 4-0 in the season, while Kevin Dresser and the Cyclones drop their very first duel of the year. Our college wrestling coverage continues after this short timeout. You're watching Takedown thanks to Casey's General Stores. They're famous for pizza. Wow, 40 years. Time really flies. Don't seem like it's been that long. It seemed like only yesterday that I started out route delivering it to the stores. For over 40 years, we're really proud to keep the same quality ingredients and not change our recipe. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary by joining into our cookies recipe contest with a chance to win a Traeger Bronson 20 smoker. You can enter it on our Facebook page or cookiesbbq.com. Thanks for 40 years, and we'll see you in another 40 years. Cookie. What's up guys, I want to tell you about a new product that I am extremely excited about. It is the Pure and Clean Sports Skin Defense. It comes in a 16 ounce spray bottle and it comes in a little bitty travel size spray bottles. I have one of these, throw it in my bag, go straight to the gym. A lot of these gyms I train at, whether it be boxing, wrestling, kickboxing, grappling, strength and conditioning, it all has bacteria floating around, they all have viruses floating around, they all have fungus floating around, and the last thing you want is to get a fungus, a virus, get sick, any kind, of, um, any kind of wounds that are gonna turn into any kind of uh, skin infections to take you off of the mat. Every single second that you spend off the mat or out of the gym is one second that you're wasting. So, Pure and Clean Sports came up with a amazing solution to give you the right amount of protection on your skin. You spray it right on your skin. Stay pure, stay clean, checking them out. Pureandcleansports.com. This is Casey's Fresh Pizza Dough. We make our fresh dough the way your grandmother made it. It's not frozen, shrink-wrapped, and trucked in from some factory in New Jersey. That would be a travesty. You want the best-tasting, freshest baked pizza in the world? It starts in our kitchen with a lot of love and old-fashioned goodness. Mac is back. Try our made-from-scratch macaroni and cheese pizza for a limited time. Pick up one today. Casey's. Famous for pizza and a whole lot more. There are a lot of unknowns inside the Dan Gable Wrestling Complex, but that's what has Tom Brands excited about his team. While the Hawks will lean heavily on returning All-Americans Brandon Sorensen and Michael Kemmerer, the rest of the lineup remains a bit of a mystery. Last week, Tom met with the media to talk about the season and finding the future faces of Hawkeye Wrestling. Thanks for coming. I'll give a quick statement here to kick this thing off. and. Uh, first thing I want to say is the thing that's exciting about college athletics is when there's unknowns, when you lose a lot to graduation. That's the great thing about college athletics. There's not really a franchise player that's going to be there for a decade. Um, we're excited about that. That's a lot of exciting um, things for fans to be paying attention to or looking toward, but it's also about a lot of unknowns. And we have a unique recruiting class this year where we you know, have two or three guys that could maybe step in the lineup. 
And we have a transfer who, you know, you look at a couple different weight classes he could go and how you would shift them things around. There's some unknowns there that are exciting. And with unknowns, um, you also have some uncertainty. Uh, and what that means is that with this year, we're not gonna know what we have until later on. And we're not in a hurry to get everything pieced together. Uh, but I know one thing, I know we got a lot of guys in that room that are bringing a lot of life and a lot of energy every day. And so with that, I open it up to you for questions. Uh, Tom, is this a rebuilding year or a reloading year? This is a both. Um, when you look at losing five All-Americans, five starters, you know, Meyer was an All-American, but we lost five starters. Um, when you look at a, the core of that, um, you know what, we're gonna have to rebuild, but it's also, um, you know, a reload where we have some very capable guys that come to work every day the right way, like Alex Marinelli. We've been talking about him a long time. And you know what, we're excited about him, and I know our fans are as well. And you're, you're um, you know, when you talk about patience and stuff like that, that's like maybe coach speak for, you know, what he doesn't really know what he has. But you're going to have to be patient because it's November. It's November, and, and we have some things that are going on that um, you won't see our best team right away. The energy's been good. We got a lot of good freshmen coming in. Um, we had a good recruiting class. They're doing the right things, kind of independent, doing it on their own. And, you know, it's been, it's been really good that way. I mean, it's exciting because, I mean, it's no secret that we lost a lot of guys last year and we got a lot of new faces. So uh, that's an exciting position to be in just compared to last year. Uh, it's, a, it's a different different environment, but I'm excited because uh, you know, I think sometimes the young guys that are just stepping in, they don't get enough credit. So I'm excited to, to see them. They're going to they're gonna prove some things to people. This is the first time that I've approached a season like this where you're talking about having unknowns. This is the first time where I've approached a season like this where the exciting things are the unknowns. Um, I really look at it that way, and the reason why is because as a coach, you like seeing how these co guys come to work every day. I like coming to work every day because of the way these guys come to work every day. And I'll say it again, there's a lot of life and energy in that room, and when you have that, um, you know, good things are happening. And even on days where, you know what, an individual might, might um, be having an off day, uh, they look at it the right way. They're getting through the barriers, the barriers of life, the barriers of, uh, being a student athlete and those barriers are because they're getting through them and the way they're getting through them with uh, energy is those barriers uh, actually become your friend because it teaches you that you know what little little blips are just little blips we we'll get caught up in that drama let's just go let's go forward we're keeping moving forward next up we'll find out how Matt Linden and the U.S. Greco team helped change the future of a family in need you're watching Takedown thanks to our friends at Nike Wrestling generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. 
the warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defend so, defend what you have built. Hope Sports is a nonprofit that promotes personal growth and community among athletes through service trips to Mexico, Panama, Costa Rica, and the Dominican Republic. Under the guidance of head coach Matt Lindlin, Team USA Greco, and Hope Sports travel to Rosarita, Mexico to help a family in need. Mi nombre es Ana Cristina Balanzar Jacobo. Tengo 27 años y trabajo en una taquería hecha de tortillas hechas a mano. Me vine para acá, pero yo soy de Guerrero. Porque donde yo vivía, pues me daban 90 pesos todo el día. Y pues no, para yo solita, pues no. Yo siempre he sido madre soltera porque nunca he tenido el apoyo de... Mi mamá falleció, así que pues no. Nunca he estado con... Que mi mamá me apoye, no. Y mi papá, pues, él está enfermo, tiene diabetes, así que, pues, no, no tengo el apoyo de ellos. Pero yo, mi única ilusión es que mis hijas nunca las, nunca las deje yo sin comer. I've seen where the family's living, was previously living, and uh, I can only imagine what that new home can do for them. It, it, it did not look like an environment that I would want to grow up in, that you could grow up in healthy or prosperous. I'm grateful for it. We came out here, and in two days, we managed to build an entire house, and, uh, that's insane. I've never, never been able to do something. I, I don't, I, I can't build as is, so to come out here and be able to do something like this, that's pretty cool. My, my personal highlight is, is the, the two little girls that uh, are getting a, their own room, their own bed, and a place to live that they can call their home. Well, I think this experience has been really beneficial for our athletes to come out here, work together, bond together. They have a greater purpose than just what they are as an athlete. And I don't want any of our athletes to, to think of themselves as only athletes. I want them to think of themselves as humans first and give them back to the community, and especially when you can give back to a single mother that has two children and, and she's got enough struggles as it is. Uh, this experience has been great. Uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, and I'm thankful that you know, USA Wrestling and Hope Sports was able to bring us out here, and that we were able to be a part of you know, these people's lives. Uh, coming out here, seeing the living conditions of a lot of people, um, putting in a little bit of manual labor, you know what I mean, for the benefit of someone else. Giving these kids a fresh start with a new home is uh, definitely going to benefit them for the future. And there's no greater way to show love than come down here and, and build somebody a home that they can live in. This isn't just a house, it's a, it's a home for them to raise their family and it could change their, their lives for generations. And we're, we're excited to see what, what kind of impact this will have on, on the future. I think this experience will help our team as a whole. We'll build together and we'll, we'll know that there's always something greater than us.
Really, Hope Sports is about creating that impact for our athletes and letting them understand that that are capable of gratitude and, and service. Something out there, whether it be you know a greater being, whether it be other people, someone wants to help you. Best thing I can say for that would be is like the light at the end of a tunnel. You know, you're in a tunnel and it's dark and it's wet and you know it's bad. You're in a miserable situation, but you see the light at the end of the tunnel and you don't know how far it is, but you know there's light eventually. And I guess I guess that would hope would mean that no matter what you're going through. There's something on the other side waiting for you. All right, to make a donation, organize a project, or find out more information about Hope Sports, look for them online at hopesports.org. That'll do it for this week's show. Special thanks to USA Wrestling, Hope Sports, the Ohio State Athletic Department, and all of our guests on the show. Until next time, from the Takedown Studios of Des Moines, Iowa, I'm Scott Casper. We'll see you next week for another edition of Takedown.